Five things you didn't know about masks in After Effects. And how do I know you didn't know them? Because a lot of these things I just learned and you're watching my video, so it's a safe bet. All right, so let's say we have this hot air balloon and we draw a mask around it like this. All right, we got our mask tool, or I mean our pen tool, and we're just gonna draw roughly this shape around it. Don't have to be too crazy precise here. We can always come back and fix this later like this. I'm gonna switch this mode to none here and then just come back in here, tweak this a little bit. Any areas like this where your mask is going a little funky, you can do a convert to vertex tool here and kind of tweak these things. Click and hold and bend them back out in any way that you like to really kind of get things back in position. But I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. It's probably painful to watch. So anyway, the first tip here is that you can track a mask. If you right click on the mask here, click M to open up this mask, drop down menu, right click, track mask. You get this little tracker here and I'm gonna do the position and rotation because that's really all that's moving here. And let's go forward and track this out a little bit. Any areas where you start to lose it a little bit, you can see it's slipping off the top here. I'll go to that section, move things back into position a little bit, and then keep going with the track and keep moving it. You can see it doesn't work that great, but it gets the job done. All right, so we'll keep doing that. Keep moving things over a little bit. Get my track going. All right, so why might you wanna do this? Well, that's gonna bring us to tip number two. You can add effects to this. Let's say you wanna add something like a hue saturation or a blur to this, right? So we change the color of this or we blur it up a little bit. Now, if we open up these effects down here, drop them down, you'll see we have this compositing options with a little plus and minus. If we check this box and we select the mask and make sure that our mask is set back to add and select it. Now these effects are only going to affect where our mask is. So let me turn off the blur here and we can affect the color here or we could blur it up if we want to just in our tracked mask area. Pretty cool. We could also do something like, you know, add some crazy effect if we want to, like a modulation, some random script that I bought during an AE script sale and do something really crazy, make an alien hot air balloon like that. I don't know, kind of cool. Now you might know that you can move a mask if you double click on it and then you can move the mask around. But did you know that you can move the footage or layer behind it if you click up here on the pan behind tool or the key command Y, then you can move the layer that's behind the mask. This can be very convenient sometimes. And that's tip number three. Now tip number four, very simple, very useful. If you make a new solid or some kind of new shape, and okay, we'll make this black here and you click on what any of these shapes will do. I'm gonna use an ellipse for this example, and you just double click, boom, you're gonna make a mask that is built to comp size. I'll go ahead and invert it. We'll drop this down, feather it out, and just like that, you have a nice vignette. Easy, this is how I make vignettes all the time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete a couple things so I can show you the next tip here. So if you use the pen tool, or one of the shape tools to draw on footage or something, this will draw a mask, right? And pro tip, using Alt or Control or Shift, these will do different things. Control will make you draw out from center. Shift will make it proportional. And if you use your scroll wheel, when you have the rounded rectangle, you can see this will actually make your corners, um, while you're scrolling the wheel, will make the corners more or less rounded like this. So. When you draw on a piece of footage, this will create a mask. Now, if you have nothing selected, then, and you draw, this will create a shape layer. But, 
What if you want to create a mask on a shape layer? Is this possible? Well, actually it is. So if you click up here, you have, you're currently selected on tool create shape, but if you click over here, it will, you want to choose tool creates mask, and then you can draw a mask on a shape layer. But why would this be useful? I can't think of any examples of why this might be useful. Well, let me show you something. So I made this little example of a ball bouncing and some effects sliding through it. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of cool. So let me show you how this actually works. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete everything off of it. Delete this mask. We're just gonna delete everything and start fresh, all right? So how this works is if we go ahead and we draw a mask here, I think we want our mask while this is going up. So I'm gonna draw a mask like this and don't forget you need to select this button tool creates mask before you draw right here. All right. And I will ke create a keyframe on mask path. And I'm gonna set this to none while I'm drawing so I can see. And maybe then we will make this slide up about here like this. So this is what our animation will look like. Maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger so it's cooler. All right, it'll look something like that. That'll be our animation. Cool. All right, so now what we wanna do, put this back to add so we can see. All right, now let's add some effects to it. So maybe I wanna add something like a fractal noise, all right? You knew there was gonna be a fractal noise in this video. Cool, bump the contrast up a little bit. Um, then maybe we wanna add something like a mosaic to this, make that cool mosaic effect, that's cool. And then maybe add something like a tint to this and then tint it some colors. Maybe like a, it can be like a blue and like a purple, something like that. That's cool. All right, and then now all we gotta do is drop these effects down and then composite each one to our mask like this. Boom, boom, and boom. Now each one will just be linked to that mask effect. All on one layer, nice and clean. And we can change the mask animation if we want to, do whatever we want with this, nice and easy. So this has been five things that you did not know about masks in After Effects. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Let me know if you did or you didn't. And let me know if there's any other hot tips that uh, you would like to share about masks in After Effects. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.